Hi guys, uh, welcome to a Rose Studio launch style class. We've got a one minute warm up, eight hard exercises, and then a one minute cool down. So let's get started. All right, the first one, you're gonna start tapping your toes, bringing your heels up towards your hand. As you're doing this, pulling your belly button into your spine, shoulders up nice and tall. And when you're ready for it, you can start to speed it up. We're gonna get a little bit of a jog going on here. Here we go. We're gonna start to jog, pulling the belly button into the spine, the heels up towards your hands. Just starting to warm up. Breathe a little bit here. Getting into your workout. 15 more seconds. Nice and easy. If you need to go back to that tapping, that's fine. You've got five more seconds. Finishing up. All right, next exercise. We're gonna go into a squat jack. Squatting down, jumping forward. You're gonna alternate hands, jump. Tap. Again here, focusing on sending your hips back. Keeping your chest up nice and tall. Squeezing through the glutes. Yeah, that's it, good. All right, if this is too heavy, Remember, you can always modify. You can step in, out, squat. In, out, squat. You're tapping the hand down. Remember to send your hips back. Looks like this from the side. Hips are going back. Good, if you're still jumping, keep jumping. 10 more seconds. Exhale, yeah. Five, three, and one. Next exercise, coming down onto your mat or towel, whatever you've got at home. You're gonna tuck your hands under your butt. Your legs are coming straight out and you're lifting. Exhale. Control. Pulling your belly button in to the spine. Now, on these ones, you're focusing on keeping your low back on the ground. That means you might only go to here and back up. Here and back up. That's fine. Keep that focus. Keep the spine on the ground. 15 more seconds here. Oh, 10 more seconds. You got lucky. Exhale, belly button into the spine. Good, all right, next exercise. You're flipping over on your mat, coming into a push-up position. And you're gonna jump center, forward, and then push-up. Center, forward, and push-up. So right here, trying to bring your heart rate up, keep it up, and get those push-up reps in. If it's too much, drop to your knees, push up, and then come back up. Jump, jump, and back. Jump, jump, and back. There it is. If you want to step, just giving you all the modifications here, making sure you can do this at home. Finding what works for you. Yes. Right there. Last few. Last one. Nice job. Next exercise. Flipping around on your mat, onto your stomach. You're coming into a reverse crunch. So you're squeezing up through the lower back here. Exhale. And squeeze. Opening up through your lower core, lower part of your back. Nice, deep exhale. Good. So we're alternating here between those more high intensity exercises and the control exercises. So on the control exercises, exhaling, 
finding that control for 10. Last few here. Squeezing through. Open up that lower back. Last one. All right. Back into a high intensity. You're coming into a mountain climber position, plank position, and you're going to move. So you're drawing the knees in, moving back and forth with the hands. It's a little bit of coordination here. Finding that rhythm. Exhale, pulling the knees in. Yes. Good. Keep going here. Now, if this is too much, you can either stay still, pull the knees in, and if you need to, you drop down, come back up, knees in. Yes. Just like that. 15 more seconds here. Finding what works for you. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Yes. Good, Rose Studio. Rose Studio at home. All right, last one. All right, next, we're coming back onto the mat. Onto your stomach. You're gonna put your arms out to the sides. And we're gonna work on that control again. Pulling in, lifting the arms, squeezing through the shoulder blades. Yes. Good. And then we're gonna move the arms slightly up like a clock, and you're gonna lift again. I've got my erg here, a little less space. Hopefully at home you have some space. Moving the arms again forward, and lifting up. Again, one of the control exercises, squeezing through. Last 10 seconds here. Exhale. That's it. Last few. Three. And one. Next one. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to do a crab walk. So you're coming into a nice deep squat. Going to the side. And then jumping up. And back. Side. And jump. Good. So finding that nice deep squat position. Remember to get a little bit of that lateral action here. Squeezing through the sides of your body and jump. Yes. Good. This is our last high intensity exercise. So keep moving here. Keep breathing. Good. You guys are doing awesome. Side crab and jump. Belly button in. Sending the hips back, keeping that chest up nice and tall. Last one here, back to the side, and jump, good. Finding your mat, coming down, you're gonna cross one leg over, and then you're gonna squeeze up through the glute on the other side. Little pulses here, nice figure four. Pulling the belly button in towards the spine and then pushing up through your glute on the other side. Good, we're gonna switch sides on this one. Switching sides, last control exercise here and then we cool down. You guys did great getting in this quick at home workout making sure you maintain all those vital muscle groups. Yes, squeeze up. Last few here for three and one. Good. Into our cool down. Nice work. Coming in to a nice down dog position. So you go from high plank, squeeze the hips up and back. If the heels don't touch the floor, that's fine. Slight bend in the knees here. You're looking for a stretch through the hamstrings. Nice stretch through your back. Good, holding here. Deep exhales, you can move the feet around a little bit. Whatever feels good to you. And then we're gonna take this into a pigeon. So 
You're gonna bring one foot forward, knee forward, down onto the ground, and then let yourself sink down. Wherever you land, that's fine. You're gonna bring the chest up, open, and you should feel this stretch all the way through your glutes and your hips. Just a nice, easy, cool down, deep exhale. Good, you're gonna repeat this on the other side. And then you're done. Thanks so much. We hope you enjoyed it.